It's almost the end of the year, and during this time, it is time to be grateful and thankful for all the things that we have been through the year. So, my name is Betha, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about what we should do next after 2022. So, let's get into it. So... As we all know that it has been a tough year for so many of us and through God's will we have made it to the end and we are so proud of ourselves that we at least manage In 2022 we have done so much we went to church we went to parties we went to schools we went to work we came back home we went places that we were needed We went to vacations and now it's time to put all that behind and forge ahead to 2023. So it's time for goal setting and all that good stuff, motivation and increasing the chances of what we want next in 2023. So we are going to be discussing the few gifts that we think that are important to give to others and also we are going to talk about the mind setting that is supposed to happen or come in 2023 as human there are so many things that you wish for in life and this take form of gifts and other personal stuff that you can earn and for this season people are gifting out it other as a way to say thank you and the gifts are of different kinds we have those who are being gifted gifts such as technology equipment and these are good especially for youtubers you can own a camera you can own a ring light and more other technology things that you have or need Others are being gifted bus tickets and these are also good for those who are traveling back to the village. At the moment, prices have hiked so much because of the season and the number of people ne- who need to travel back to the village. Hence, gifting someone a bus ticket is something to be very mindful and thoughtful for we have those who are gifting others things such as hair products and also clothing and this is also a good way to say that we are grateful and thankful for the friends that we had during the last few years or the friends that we met in 2022 apart from those another type of gift that you can receive is also shopping vouchers this can be used to shop especially during this time of festival season traveling back to the village and spending time with family and friends is also a very wonderful gift that one can be giving or getting during this christmas season and so when we give we will receive and that's a good way to end the year so that at the beginning of 2023 your heart mind and soul will be ready to receive blessed is the hand that giveth in life there are so many things that we receive and we forget to give so remember this season remember to gift a friend gift a family member or gift even a stranger because this is going to be very helpful and motivating and it also it also shows a soul that is searching for connection and to be out there willing to in 2022 i turned to learn out so much because this was a great year for challenges and also thriving so in 2022 we learned that you're supposed to give 
in order to receive. That's why it is very important for during this festival season for you to give in order for you to receive in the next coming seasons. Another good lesson to keep in mind is that nothing stays the same way. Even the seasons keep on changing. So as we enter 2023, we are supposed to have an open mind and also to be good in what we do because it's never going to be permanent. As the seasons change, make sure you have the stamina to be consistent and fight in order to keep up with whatever you're trying to achieve. Still keeping that in mind, another good lesson learned in 2022 is friends come and go. Nothing is permanent. So in 2022, we had so many friends we attracted or interacted with and as as the year ends some of them just cut off from us you don't have to blame yourself for such behavior because friends do come and go and more will come in 2023 and more years to come so keep yourself open minded and ready to be receiving this kind of nature's gift to us. Another lesson I'll keep in mind as we move forward is that for growth, you need consistency. For all the things that we do and take and undergo in this life journey, either alone with friends or with family, we need to be consistent in order to receive that growth. Consistency is a way of showing perseverance and continuity even when it gets hard and difficult and annoying and not being understood. Moving forward, we have to keep in mind that every day is a blessing and a new opportunity to try again, whether we failed the previous time or to new beginnings, you are supposed to be out there trying to reach the new you, the inner self, the soul for what we want to achieve. So next year, make sure you do or start a day and try out new things that you haven't done before in order to capture what you want in order to have that idea out there and in order to get it out of your head, in order to be able to relieve the inner self and in order to have that fulfilling and meaningful life. On relationships, I learned that it is okay and good to end a relationship. It doesn't have to be permanent or it doesn't have to be toxic for it to end but because of the reasons that nature and forces of the earth are giving unto us, when you see red flags, be ready to move on. Nothing is permanent. With that being said, I'd like to end this year thanking everybody for all the pressure and all the consistency, all the hard work that they did. And moving forward, let's get applause for making this year a grateful time and for those who managed to attend or do weddings those we should give them a cloud of claps because it was really tough for all of us no pain no gain so keep in mind Remember to live, love, and love. That's it for this video. Until next time, see you guys. Bye. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified 
once I upload a new video. New videos every Tuesday and Thursday.